Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday. I've got a really big grocery haul for you guys today. I do know I'm a day late, but for those of you who follow my channel, you know we've had quite a lot of family sickness. So I got out today, I did a shop, and I hope you guys like it. Okay, so for today, I went to three separate shops. I went to Wilco's where I got some home goods stuff and I spent 15 pounds and 50 P. That's just cash back that I got, so don't pay attention to that. And then my main shop was done at Little. You guys know I love a little shop. And that was 43 pounds and 2p. And then I had to pop into Tesco to get a few things. And that came to, whoa, focus, 16 pounds and 54p. Now I'm going to show you guys everything I bought and then go through my meal plan with you. Okay, so it's a big one today. Now this should hopefully see us through for 10 days or if not more. Now I have not done a huge um, meat purchase because I'm waiting to use up all my meat and fish and then I'll go off to the butchers and the fishmongers. So there's just a tiny, like a few items for that. But otherwise I got all my staples and everything that we needed. So let's start over here, the stuff from Wilco's. So I got some toilet paper. Um, I decided this time just to go with the Wilco's brand. And this is um, just their tabs. I love the little capsules for doing the laundry. They're just so much less messier and so much easier. And then this is just like the stain remover stuff. But I do stick with my fabric softener, which is Comfort. I've used this since both the children were babies and it's just sentimental for me and they're used to it. So um, that's what I got. I got some straws because I have very picky children who only like to drink their juice in the morning with straws. Um, just some tin foil. We were low on that. Um, Harry's toothpaste. He uses the big teeth one, the Aquafresh. Jack, I'm having huge issues with brushing his teeth. So I got the strawberry kind, which I know, I know is wrong. He should be having the regular mint kind, but I need this kid to brush his teeth. I got new shampoo and conditioner for myself. I got some face cream. I just stuck again with the Wilco's brand. This is the tea tree. This was one, one pound. And you know what? It's probably does not have all the good stuff that those expensive creams have, but it seems to work for my skin. And then this was a treat to myself, which will not come out of the budget, but this is just um, their essence line. This is the top coat for gel, na gel nail polish, which I buy from them. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, right, so that's everything from Wilco's. And then um, the things between Tesco and Little are kind of mixed up, so I'll go through that. I got two things of flowers. Um, I'm really loving this orangey color at the moment. It just makes me think of spring so much. Um, then I got some pasta sauce. I got some dried parsley, which I've never bought before, but I needed it for a couple recipes this week. So Marmite, every household needs Marmite. Barbecue sauce, um, some of this peri peri sauce that I love. Red onions we needed. Then they had a three for two on um, for this line here for the kids stuff. So I got apples, I got these snack cucumbers. I'm always seeing um, Claire over at Claire Witt, the Witt family, giving her kids these snack cucumbers for pack lunches and my kids love them. So we'll see if they like these. So um, some grapes, some of these snack peppers again for Jack for lunches, cherry tomatoes, some mushrooms. Um, Harry has been asking for cauliflower which he must have had at his granny's house because we don't normally have cauliflower. So I thought I'd get a little section like this and just for when the kids have dinner on their own, try that. Um, two avocados for myself, spring onions, mange too. They did not have the sugar snap peas, but these are close enough for Jack. Um, and some baby carrots, mainly for myself because I'm trying to stop eating crisps throughout the day and having something like carrots with hummus. Fingers crossed. <laughs> um, two dips. The caramelized onion hummus is more for myself, and my husband really likes the onion and garlic dip. Um, moving on over here, this is kind of the dairy section. I got some grated mozzarella and some regular cheddar cheese. We needed a new butter. I got some ham for sandwiches. Um, these are the meatballs that I love. I then got, um, these are just snacking meatballs, by the way. For Jack, for lunches, and for the kids, I got the sausage rolls, the snack size. 
I decided to get some scones, which I normally don't get because I do tend to make these myself, but I thought this was a good alternative to a sandwich for Jack for lunches. As you guys know, it's really hard to get a sandwich inside, inside Jack. So, um, on to the bread section. These pan au chocolats, which the kids love, and they are good because they're individually wrapped, so they're good for going out. Put those there. Some wraps for the family. I'll have taco shells because they obviously don't have wheat in them. But the wraps are for um, a chicken wrap night that we're doing. Two of these baguettes. These are for the kids. Um, my gluten-free ciabatta rolls. I find these, by the way, if you are gluten-free, you'll know that finding a good, decent bread is very difficult. Anyway, this char, that's the kind. I don't know. I'm probably not pronouncing it right at all. I find this to be the best bread and the most like substantial and the most stable, it doesn't fall apart. Um, just some basic penne for the kids. Yeah, I don't know why I did this. <laughs> I'm actually kind of regretting this now. Who buys two, you know, sugar ice donuts to give to their kids after school? Sarah Jane does, that's who. Um, a pack of sultanas. These are the little packs of the mini ice ring biscuits that the kids love and as you guys know Jack's not allowed to take chocolate to um, school so this works out for him. These were on sale just these honey oak granola bars which I thought would be good. Um, we're out and about quite a bit this week. A huge pack of the potato hoops. These are just the plain kind and it's 10 of these packs for 99p. Um, some little breadsticks individually wrapped six packs of those. These, I discovered, I gotta be honest guys, I bought two of these packs and one of them is almost gone already. I have not had pretzels in two years since I was diagnosed um, not being able to have wheat. And these taste like normal pretzels. I mean, there must be quite a lot of butter in there, but they are so good. You guys need to try those. They're one pound a pack, by the way, and there's quite a lot in there. For juice-wise, um, Jack is loving this little toucan orange juice. I think it's more about the toucan than the actually what's inside. Um, apple juice, some regular coffee for myself. And then in our kind of meat and like frozen food section, um, some salmon. We are having salmon tonight and I needed to buy a few more fillets. Some, sorry guys, I'm showing this to you upside down here. Um, some chicken fillets, some smoked salmon for myself and fish fingers to have on hand for the kids. So that's everything that you see. I think in total, everything came to 75 pounds, I said. Um, so yeah, that's everything we have. And right now I'll go through my meal plan with you. Okay, the meal plan for the week is a bit funny this week. So last night was Monday and we had leftovers. Tonight we're having um, grilled salmon with green beans and baked potato. The salmon I'm doing is actually like a herb crusted um, with lemon zest. It's supposed to be really good. I will share that with you guys if it turns out well. And then the kids are basically having the same thing just with kids fish, fish fingers. Um, Wednesday, James is actually cooking us. That's our date night Wednesday, but we're not going out. So James is actually going to be cooking for us. And I believe we're having fish again. And then the kids are just going to have a quick um, hot dogs with veggies, mainly because I need those hot dogs eating up and they love them. So Thursday, I'm going to do, Thursday's like our um, Thursday taco night, um, and we're going to do chicken wraps, which we lay out for everyone to help themselves to, which is actually good because Thursday, everybody's running around that night. Friday, Harry and I are actually out for the night. We're staying over at my friend's house, so James is going to sort tea out for him and Jack. I'm guessing they'll probably get takeaway pizza. Saturday is to be confirmed. I'm tr probably going to try and use up anything that's been left out in the fridge maybe make a stir fry, do something like that. And then Sunday, James and Harry are in an away game. So Jack and I will be on our own in the afternoon and I'm going to get a whole like roast dinner done with all the trimmings. So that's what we'll have then. So that's everything we're having this week. Kind of quick and easy, but we're all sort of in different directions. So that's how it's going to go this week. Okay, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching my grocery haul. Gosh, it's bright outside today, but I'm not complaining. And um, anyway, thank you so much. If you guys are interested in watching more of my hauls, I will link an iCard up above for you guys to tune in. As always, please do follow me on Instagram. My name is at Through Mummy's Eyes. And my Facebook page, which is Facebook slash Through Mummy's Eyes. 
Um, and all my other social media should be linked down below. Thanks again for watching, guys. I always appreciate you guys watching and leaving such lovely comments for me. It does really make my day. So take care, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.